Okay, so in this video, we are going to continue our discussion on addition and subtraction of fractions and we consider the case of adding and subtracting unlike fractions. Now, just to reiterate, what are unlike fractions? Unlike fractions have different denominators and just in our previous video, we discussed that when we add and subtract the like fractions, that is fractions that have same denominator, the addition and subtraction is a straightforward addition and or subtraction of the numerators. Now, since in the unlike fractions, we have different denominators, we can make our job very easy if we convert the unlike fractions denominator into a same number. So that is what we are going to do. So essentially, we will be converting the unlike fractions into like fraction and then do uh, the addition or the subtraction. So it's going to be a two step process. The second step is same as that of unlike fractions. But in the first case, we need to convert the unlike fractions into like fractions. And how do we do that? We simply find out the LCM of the denominators. That is the first step. Then we convert the denominators into the LCM for both the fractions by multiplying both the denominators by a suitable number. And then we proceed to do as we did for the like fractions. So I think this will be more clearer when we take an example. So let us take this first example in which we are supposed to add the fraction 5 by 4 with 3 by 6. Now you can see that these are unlike fractions. They both have different denominators. So the first step is we need to convert them into like fractions by then. So how do we do that? So in that case, we need to find out the LCM of the denominators. So we have 4 and 6. Then we start our process of dividing to find out the LCM. So the first factor is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 3 is 6. I still have a 2 in this row. So I'm going to write 2 again here. 2 times 1 is 2. 3 remains as it is. Then next we have 3 here, this one remains as it is and this becomes 3. So the LCM of 4 and 6 is 2 times 2 times 3 which is 12. So now we did the first step that is we found out the LCM of the denominators. Now we have to convert the denominators of both fractions into the LCM. So what I want is I want a 12 here and I want a 12 here. And so what we are going to do is we need to multiply both of these fractions by numbers such that I get 12 as a denominator. So in the first case, 5 by 4. What am I going to multiply 4 so that I get 12 in the denominator? So it is 3. And since we, are, we have to come up with equivalent fractions, so we use the same number that is 3 to multiply the numerator as well. And then we have to add and then we have 3 by 6. This is the second fraction. So what do we multiply 6 by to get 12 in the denominator? It is going to be 2. And similarly, we will have to multiply the numerator that is 3 by 2 as well. Then we simplify it further. So we have 5 times 3 is 15. And then the numerator is 15 and denominator is 12. Then we have 3 times 2 is 6 and 6 times 2 is 12. And now you can see that we have converted these two this 5 by 4 and 3 by 6 into like fractions and now I can simply use the learning from the like fraction that is I can simply add 15 and 6 the numerators so 15 and 6 is 21 by 12 so this is the answer that we got and this is how we would go for adding unlike fractions now let us take an example for subtraction as well so we have to do 5 by 4 minus 3 by 6. That is subtract 3 by 6 from 5 by 4. Now we'll proceed as earlier. So in this case, we have 4 and 6. We need to find out the LCM, so which we already did in this example. So the LCM of 4 and 6 is 12. We proceed as we did earlier. So 5 by 4 needs to be multiplied by 3 by 3 to get a denominator as 12 and then we need to do a subtraction minus 3 by 6 needs to be multiplied by 2 by 2 
to get a denominator of 12. Then finally what we have here after we simplify this 5 times 3 is 15 and 4 times 3 is 12 and then 3 times 2 is 6 and 6 times 2 is 12. So essentially it's the same but instead of addition we are subtracting. Now 15 minus 6 is 9 by 12. So this is the answer. You can even simplify it further. 3 times 3 is 9 and 3 times 4 is 12. So this is going to be the simplest form of the fraction. So this is how we add and subtract unlike fractions.